Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio tutorial. Let's continue looking in our function editor, other options where we have it. And for this one, actually, let's create terrain. We'll open the image, right click, edit function. Not what I want to do is just going in our function editor. And one thing would be okay, let's delete it. Notes we have it. Next will be it's create the texture map. So let's add add it. And by default, let's go to project texture mapping. So we'll go to just to texture map for now. And if you notice when you select this by default, it will create UV coordinate um, node for you. So, so you can specify mapping mode, the scale and offset or coordinates for this image. Of course, it's image based and we can uh, load it our image in this window. And one thing you can connect this to the color if you want it or alpha or gray uh, scale or alpha output so we'll connect to the color. And we'll come back in a second to look more on this color. But other things that I want to show you with this node, it is um, other interesting ability. This is our fractal terrain. And what's happening with fractal terrain when you go to edit, you notice we cannot load a picture based for that, even if it's in a fractal. So to do this, we actually will use the same node. Let's go just reset it function, edit function. And now inside the function editor, we add our texture map. And now we can control based on the image. So when it's selected, let's select the node. We'll go to this window and by clicking on an arrow, we'll open to load it our texture. So we can select anything from what's supplied. But one thing I want to do is go and load it our own. So we'll go to select a school. And right here you can already see how this map will apply to our terrain. The one thing, the white will be high and black is low. If you need it invert, this one icon will invert our image. So it will set properly height. Also, you have additional things. If you want to destroy it, it's like garbage can. Um, we have a rotate image. So you can, by clicking around, you can adjust the image you want it. And we have additional options, interpolation type. It's um, how you want blending. None, it will be pixelized. Bilinary will be smoother. And of course, normalized. Now, in when we do with the terrain, you won't see big difference. But when you start applying actually for the um, like texturing, that will affect and interpolation will, will give you nicer result smoother without too much pixelization tiling mode it is um on x or y how you want to do repeated um mirror or none by default it says repeated so if we scale down you'll notice we'll start repeating these tiles so let's select this way okay we also have it um, our image offset we can work with other option on this same as in our UV coordinate node. Let's click OK. And right here you see we already applied this image to our fractal terrain. So it is have it all properties of the fractal terrain, but now it's also controlled by image. Um, we want if we want to create more detail, we probably want to go again edit function, add maybe um additional node, connect that node together. So it will give it us a little bit better Pelican noise. No. Okay. So it will give us a little bit rougher look, more interesting look on our island. Also, if you want to scale, um, this option is what we want to using for the scales. If we need to create a lot of those islands. Or if you want to just create one or even increase in size. In another case, it is used for um, when we use terrain brushes, when you can use the paint and go terrain brushes. Uh, you also can do this if you want to just create one big one. You can increase in size. And by using um, 
going inside the, our coordinate, you can specify what is location you want for this to set offset. So in this one, I want to show you. Go up, we'll clip it down. Okay, let's set our settings and we have it our school island. Maybe a little bit above. This is basic, and of course, combine with the other terrains. You can create even more realistic looking island. Let's create this one. Add water. We'll select both terrains and we'll just assign some material and same to the ground so they look the color wise. Here we have our school island. Maybe we'll need to create different color, but what is showing right now it is texture map, how you can apply to um, Okay, let's reset it. How we can apply to one object or exactly the same, you can have it one object, just going in a color alpha, so edit object. And one thing you notice, we have it our standard. If we're going right here, switch to map mode, we'll have it similar with um, applying image. So if we're going through here and we'll select um, image applied to this okay and we'll go to our function now you'll notice right here we have it project instead of the texture map and we'll look in a set in a second what is the difference between both of them okay so we'll apply here we have it, our image created okay this is a okay for that one and let's go right now back to our screen and let's look on a project projected texture map okay and um, what is actually happening compared to other node now we combine our UV mapping inside our node and mainly different it is uh, allowed the mini map mip map so what is the option this one does for us when is uh, it's creating low resolution resolution uh, image texture for this object as soon when it see it so on a far away distance it will create um, kind of blurry image and it's it's nice because it doesn't spend a lot of time on calculation but this one option also can be controlled in our rendering options and we'll look on this one in another tutorials but overall it's very similar to the texture mapping what we're using okay let's look on another option so we'll create another object right click edit material we'll go inside and we'll go to function editor let's you know just remove these nodes we'll click on a color and select um, texture and switch to animation map this is another one we also can connect the alpha to this so it will provide our the couple things what you notice we have now we have a connection to time so the sequence will based on the frames on time also now we have it uh, created for us the uv coordinates so we can set offset and um, when we have the animation map to load the sequence of images if you want it or you can load it um, avi and compressed but images is easy we just go click on the arrow and subfolder what we'll do we'll just select the first image so if you select two it will load it two three you select one and select one two three and what it's looking is look for the last number and will load it in sequential if you have some images you don't want it they can be named different but if the name same in sequence and you don't want them they want to move from the subdirectory let's click ok open and now it's loaded okay in our preview we have the same options you can rotate image or invert if you want it and this is an option uh, with a very similar properties before image offset from x y from zero 
the um, face. We come back in a second. Interpolation type, it is what do you want to bilinary, normalize, or bicubical. Again, if you think it will be close up, you use normalize or just leave it interpolation, which is we'll give it one to one image. Tiling mode, similar as before, repeat it, mirror or none. And a frame rate, this is what you said your animations as normal. We're using like 25, it will be PAL. 24, for example, if we said it will be film, it's what I do most time. Or you have the 30 frames for the progressive or six frames. It's whatever frame you set it. So your animation, your loading, it will be adjusting accordingly to that. One thing, if you want to slow down your animation, you can actually decrease frame rate. So it will going slower. Um, interpolate frames by checking this option. It will add the blending between frames, so it will look sometimes smoother, and it's more affecting if you have it uh, image sequence. Our animation filter by editing this filter. This is re represent animation timeline. So, for example, if you want speed up animation, slow down and speed up again. This is beginning end of your animation. So this way we are applying it will will have fast animation, slow animation, and fast animation again. Okay. And um, we can go actually preview this one. Um, also come back to the face. What's happening sometimes when you have animation done is AVI or other. You don't want necessarily start from first frame. You want maybe move a little bit ahead or back. And the face it will allow you to shift that. Um, your start frame. Let's click OK on this one. Click OK again. So, just, so we have our face. Our camera, you notice it's invisible, and the reason is why? Because if we're going to edit function, we need to be sure our transparency set properly. And our alpha. Okay. There you go. And let's click also on animation wizard. So we have an animation timeline. And by applying our normal animation, we can preview after how the texture will start changing. So let's go right here. Create keyframe. Okay. So adjust this way. And it even doesn't show here, but it's you can see on our preview window how the opening animation working. So we can actually go right here, increase in size. Also, you notice we have some gray lines, a little bit between it's because we enable interpolation. So if we're going inside and we uncheck interpolation frame, what happened now, we don't have this frame blending. Now you notice we just have all those frames going. On our animation. Okay, so let's go back to reset our environment. Let's go to edit material. Let's go right now switch from animation map to project animation map. And uh, this is very similar to other project only animated, similar what I was saying, it's combined with the UV mapping node inside. And allowed also, we have an option now, allow MIP mapping, similar options that in a, we had before in a project texture map. So this one, they are very similar, an animation map and texture map with options, they're similar in this way. Okay, let's go now to blended images. And this is not actually what's happening. Okay, let me remove it. 
it's take this color and it will blend it with the image so let's open the image and just select an image let's open also our preview window if we take our color we can notice how it's blending so we'll change our color to something red and you can see how they start blending with this okay you can have it control on the how much blending strip you want to apply it our normal image offset positioning interpolation time the type binary it is you will notice no pixelization normal it's what happened when you have it stretching it's exactly the same as we did with a color mode or other texture applying or just pixelize without this and um, blend profile it is on a on a square it will calculate to the nearest edge of the image and on the round it will be from the center of the image okay let's go right now on a blending grayscale image and this is similar to what we had before except if you remember before it was based on a color so we can create another color apply this one is actually based on a number so in this case instead we can actually create um, noise node or other things and link it to the color based on the number okay, and this is all for our image texture map and thank you for watching this tutorial from Geekit Play Studio. Please come visit us on our web is www.geekitplay.com.